This is Story Recapped. Today I'm going to explain an animation, comedy, and fantasy film called Cool World. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. In 1945, a military plane arrives in Las Vegas to reunite World War II veterans with their families. As the civilians excitedly greet the soldiers, Mrs. Harris searches the crowd for her son, Frank. Not long, she sees Frank, walking toward her. Frank smiles and greets his mother with a warm hug. When Frank gets home, he surprises his mother with a motorbike he won in a poker game in Italy. Frank decides to take his mother on a joy ride in his new motorcycle. As they approach an intersection, a drunk driver hits them with his vehicle. Frank survives the collision, but it gives him a war flashback. Soon, Frank sees his mother lying dead on the ground. When the police and ambulance arrive, Frank still seems disoriented. Frank tries to stop the paramedics from taking his mother's body away, but he suddenly gets transported to a strange dimension. A doodle named Doc Vincent Whiskers stares at the portal in confusion and tells Frank that his spike is supposed to bring him to the real world instead of bringing Frank into theirs. Whiskers reveals that Frank traveled to a place called Cool World. Frank thinks he's just imagining them, so Whiskers assures Frank that he and his associates are real, and he's been looking for a way to travel to the real world for a long time. After introducing himself, Whiskers hints that Frank could watch over Cool World while he explores the other dimension. Decades later, cartoonist Jack Deeps sketches an alluring character named Hollywood in prison. He tells the doodle that he's finally leaving prison the next day, and he wouldn't have made it without her. Suddenly, Holly emerges from the paper and entices Jack to come to her. Before long, Jack finds himself falling into the world of doodles. When he lands, he sees Holly dancing provocatively in front of him. Jack reaches out to touch Holly, but he suddenly gets pulled back into the real world. Frank, now a detective in Cool World, visits Holly at home to investigate a rumor that annoyed, a slang that doodles used to refer to humans, was at the club the previous night to see her. Holly contends that the incident was unexceptional and notes that it was just a mind slip. Holly then shows Frank her small collection of memorabilia of Las Vegas. She tells him about a doodle named Vegas Vinny, who supposedly crossed over to the real world and became the owner of the Union Plaza Hotel. Frank, however, asserts that Vegas Vinny's exploits are just stories that doodle parents tell their children. Holly argues that the stories could be true because Frank successfully crossed over to Cool World. She asks Frank for help to get to the other dimension, but Frank tells her that there will be no one crossing over as long as he's around. Holly desires to become annoyed because she wants to feel like they do when they make love. When she tells Frank that she will ask Jack for help in crossing over, Frank warns Holly of the consequences of going ahead with her plan. Jack soon leaves prison and returns to his home in Las Vegas. When he stops by a comic book shop that night, the clerk recognizes him as the creator of the Cool World comic book and tells him that his work inspired many people. As he signs autographs for his fans, a man taunts him by asking if he would write a comic book about the time he murdered a man after finding him in bed with his wife. Later at home, Jack suddenly gets transported into Cool World after hearing Holly call out to him. Meanwhile, a bunny wins a dice game against Slash, one of Holly's goons. However, Slash cheats and threatens to kill the bunny if he doesn't pay. The bunny escapes when Slash is distracted by Jack's arrival. Slash and his cohorts harass Jack and tell him that he's in Cool World because he lost his mind. Soon, Holly arrives and welcomes him to the world of Doodles. As Jack stares at Holly in amazement, he surmises that he can erase her since he created her, but Holly is confident that Jack wouldn't do it because he wants to be with her. The bunny soon reports Slash to the police for cheating on dice, so the cops go after him. Back on the streets, Holly assures Jack that he's not dreaming by burning his hand with a cigarette. Not long, Holly hears the police sirens, so she flees with Jack and her goons in her car. The cops chase after them, so Slash distracts them by urinating on them. Holly loses the police after they collide with a train. Elsewhere, Frank takes his girlfriend, Lynette, out on a date. However, his partner nails informs him that Jack is in Cool World with Holly. Frank realizes that Jack did not cross over from a dream, so he decides to postpone their date and find Holly. When Holly and Jack arrive at the club, Frank is already waiting for them. Frank immediately confronts Jack and takes his fountain pen. Jack is perplexed to see Frank because he is not one of his creations. He explains that he draws Cool World from his visions, but Frank contends it can exist without him. Frank notes that the fountain pen can be dangerous in Cool World, he demonstrates it by using it to absorb a beverage and shoot it into Nail's mouth. Frank then tells Jack that it's against the law for Noids to make love with doodles. Holly has been seducing every Noid she meets, but no one is crazy enough to get involved with her. 
Frank returns Jack's fountain pen and tells him to leave. Not long, Jack finds himself back in the real world. When Frank goes home, he asks Lynette if she heard something about Holly, but Lynette tells him that she doesn't pay attention to anything Holly does. Lynette kisses Frank to help him relax, but Frank stops her because he can't make love to her. Lynette asks Frank if he ever thought about going back to the real world to do it, but Frank doesn't have anyone like Lynette there. Lynette tells Frank to pretend to make love to her, but Nails interrupts them. That night, Jack returns to Cool World after hearing Holly's voice. He ends up on a stage where he comes across Holly's goons. Frank and Nails go to Holly's apartment, but the doodle door wouldn't let them in, so they climb up through the window. Upon reaching the apartment, Frank warns Holly to stay away from Jack. Holly tells Frank that she's annoyed when she sees him because he can return to the real world, but he wouldn't do it because he's afraid. Soon, Slash and the goons take Jack to Holly's apartment. The door notes that Jack has an appointment, so it allows him to go in, but not Holly's goons. When Jack reaches Holly's apartment, she immediately seduces him. Jack expresses his reluctance to sleep with her because of Frank's warning, but Holly convinces him to break the rules. Outside the apartment, Slash and the goons start stacking up objects so that they can watch Holly and Jack through the window. After making love, Holly turns into annoyed. Meanwhile, Frank goes to the club where Lynette works to make up for postponing their date. Later on, an informant named Sparks calls Nails to tell him that Holly and Jack made love and they're about to cross over to the real world. Nails immediately calls Frank but decides not to tell him what happened upon learning that he's enjoying his time with Lynette. Back in the apartment, Holly looks at herself in the mirror in astonishment. As she prepares to leave for the real world, Jack suggests staying in Cool World instead. However, Holly wants to experience everything in the real world with him. As Holly embraces him, she steals Jack's fountain pen and hides it in her sleeve. While Holly says goodbye to her goons, Nails arrives to stop her from leaving, but Holly takes out the fountain pen and uses it to absorb Nails. Holly then returns to her apartment to tell Jack that she's ready to leave Cool World. Soon, Jack finds himself in his house with Holly. His neighbor, Jennifer Malley, and her mother, Isabel, hear the disturbance caused by Jack's arrival, so they investigate. When they enter his house, Jack introduces them to Holly, who behaves strangely because it's her first time in the real world. They soon leave after seeing that nothing is wrong with Jack. In Cool World, Frank learns about his partner's disappearance, so he meets with Sparks and investigates the last place Nails was seen. Frank holds Jack responsible, but Sparks discloses that Holly was the one who trapped Nails in the fountain pen. He then tells Frank that Holly turned into annoyed after sleeping with Jack. When Jack takes Holly to a bar, she can't help but gawk at the men in the room. Not long, Holly steps on the stage and asks a man to make love to her. Jack yells out that Holly is with him to keep other men away from her, but a bouncer throws him out of the bar. In his frustration, Jack grabs the bouncer's face and pushes him away. Jack notices a strange light coming out of his hand when he calms down. The light soon disappears, but he turns into a duel momentarily while attempting to get inside his car. Inside the bar, Holly performs a seductive song to captivate the man. In Cool World, Frank prepares to cross over to confront Holly and Jack. Lynette fears Frank will leave her, so Frank tells her that he's not enthusiastic about crossing over. He doesn't want to return to the real world because of loneliness and fear of death, but he has to get Holly back because she could destroy both the real world and the cool world. Holly starts switching between her doodle form and her human body while performing on stage, so she immediately leaves the bar to find Jack. She asks Jack what's happening, but Jack is just as confused as she is. Soon, Frank kisses Lynette goodbye to find Holly. As he crosses over, Frank remembers the day that his mother died. On the road, Jack drives erratically as he abruptly switches from doodle to human. Holly suddenly remembers an artifact called the Spike of Power and tells Jack that it could heal her. She notes that Vegas Vinny put the spike on top of a casino. Holly wants to find it, but Jack doubts that the spike exists. Holly is determined to find it, so she kicks Jack in the face and grabs the will before throwing him out of the car. Soon, Frank reaches the real world and finds himself in Jack's house. When Jack arrives, Frank criticizes him for ignoring his advice and giving in to his urges. Frank is alarmed to see Jack switching from a human to a doodle. Jack points out that it's happening to Holly too. Jennifer suddenly barges in to check on Jack because she saw flickering lights in the house a few moments ago. Jack discloses that Holly is searching for the Union Plaza to find Vinny. Since Holly took Jack's car, Frank asks Jennifer to drive them to the hotel using her mom's car. When Holly arrives at the hotel, she tells the valet that she's there to meet Vinny. But the valet claims that there's no one there by that name, so Holly goes inside the casino to ask the gamblers. Frank tells Jennifer and Jack that Vegas Vinny is based on the doctor he met when he crossed over to Cool World. 
Not long after he crossed over, he and the doctor mapped out the tunnels between the real world and cool world. They soon realized that the tunnels could disrupt the balance and destroy both universes. Holly soon gets thrown out of the casino because she has no money. Not long, a small man in a trench coat and a hat approaches her and sees her switching from a doodle back to a human. When he tells Holly that she won't find what she's looking for at the hotel, she gets suspicious that he knows something about her. Holly grabs the man and shakes him repeatedly to compel him to disclose everything he knows. When he falls out of the trench coat, Holly discovers that the man is a doodle. The man tells Holly that he's known as Dr. Whiskers back in Cool World. He once touched the spike of power, but he couldn't hold on to it. Whiskers advises Holly against touching the spike, but she's convinced that it can make her real, so she takes out the fountain pen and tries to attack him. As Whiskers struggle to get away from her, Frank, Jack, and Jennifer arrive. Holly soon pricks Whiskers with the pen, causing him to break into pieces. Holly runs to the hotel's rear entrance to get to the rooftop. Jack tries to chase her, but Frank convinces him to stay behind to help Whiskers. Frank chases after Holly on his own and catches up as they get close to the rooftop. Frank grabs Holly's jacket, but he staggers over the railing of the stairs when Holly takes it off. He manages to hang on to the railing even though Holly pushes him down. As Holly starts to switch between her human and doodle form, she enters a hotel room through the wall. When Frank enters the room, she tries to go through another wall, but she bounces off because she's not transforming into a doodle. On the street, Jennifer and Jack put Whiskers back together. At that exact moment, Holly tries to reach the spike through the balcony. She soon realizes that she can't reach the top, so she asks Frank for help. When Frank reaches her, Holly pushes him off the balcony as she turns into a doodle. Jennifer and Whiskers scream upon seeing Frank fall to his death. The fountain pen falls out of Holly's sleeve and lands on the sidewalk not far from Frank. Holly continues climbing until she reaches the rooftop. Whiskers tell Jack that it's time to correct his mistake, so when Jack starts turning to a doodle, he uses his elongated hands to reach the rooftop. Jack gets to the roof, but he isn't able to stop Holly from grabbing the spike. Ghastly doodles emerge after Holly pulls the spike out of its place. When Jack reaches Holly, he suddenly transforms into a doodle of a superhero. Holly, who is also turned back into her original doodle form, doesn't want anything to do with him, so she kicks him in the groin. As Holly flees with other monstrous doodles, Jack sees the spike falling from the top of the building, so he catches it with his feet. Soon, the doodles begin terrorizing gamblers and pedestrians. People start turning into cartoons the moment the doodles possess them. Jack attempts to plug the portal with the spike, but the doodles do everything to stop him. Soon, Nails emerges from the fountain pen and finds Frank's dead body. Above them, Jack struggles to fight against the doodles as he attempts to plug the hole. Holly arrives and seduces him. She tries to convince Jack to give her the spike so they can stay in the real world, but Jack realizes that she's tricking him. Jack runs on top of floating doodles and plunges to the hotel to put the spike back in its place. Not long, every doodle that came out of the portal gets pulled back into Cool World. Everything returns to normal in the real world, but Jennifer gets concerned when she realizes Jack has disappeared. Whiskers comforts her by noting that Jack might still be alive because the spike could have protected him. Soon, Whiskers and Nails return to Cool World to take Frank's body back to Lynette. Upon seeing Frank's body, Lynette weeps in anguish. Nails tells Lynette that Holly pushed him off a building. When Nails reveals that Holly was a doodle when she killed Frank, Lynette reminds him that Noids turn into doodles in Cool World after they get killed by other doodles. Not long, Frank turns into a doodle and comes back to life. Later that evening, Lynette flirts with Frank as she prepares to make love to him. Nail suddenly interrupts them and tells Frank they must go on duty, but he flees when Lynette starts throwing kitchenware at him. Elsewhere in Cool World, Jack starts making plans to spend the rest of his life with Holly. However, Holly is not excited about the idea because she is still myth that she never became real. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.